Seattle Sounders nil, LAFC one. Brody, the season's over. I guess first and foremost, first thing to start off with is this game. We lost to LAFC. The streak's over. We no longer undefeated against them in the playoffs. Yep. Um, first and foremost, congratulations, LAFC. Um, but I will say, you guys did nothing the whole game. Um, and the refereeing was awful. Honestly, what was the ref's name? Ted, Ted Uncle. Uncle yeah. I don't know how he's still refing big games. Every single time I see him ref, he's, he's awful. He's garbage. Um, Sounders, we did nothing on offense. I mean, we had that one chance with Jordan Morris at the very beginning. And then, honestly, we controlled possession most of the game. But we did absolutely nothing with it in the attacking third at all. And just two, it's been awful the whole playoff series. The whole playoffs have been awful. And, um, you know, I will say I, I am excited to the future, though, because we've been doing... I mean, we made the playoffs. We won a game with the squad that we have. We have two designated players who effectively contribute nothing. So I'm excited to see, you know, when we free up those spots, we bring in more players to see what we can do because it's a good opportunity for us to reload. But, you know, just not enough tonight, unfortunately, with what we have. So. Does any of the blame tonight go on Brian Schmetzer? Same lineup. I, I, I'm not saying this out of criticism, but all the playoff games, we did play the exact same lineup. Do you agree with that? Do you disagree with that? All four playoff games, same starting lineup. Honestly, I mean, I can't say I blame him too much only because, I mean, they really had that one chance with Bowanga, and it's unfortunate. You but know, you should I, know that, though. Bowanga's, yeah. like, had over 30-some goals yeah. this season, almost four, over 40 goal contributions this season alone. And it, it was a, a, a leaky mistake at the back, but, I mean, other than that, they didn't really do anything offensively the whole game. Um, I like that he brought on Ladero early. I thought, you know, he waited a little bit too long to bring on Rui Diaz, in my opinion. But, um, you know, Brian's been shaky all year. We all know this. But I, I don't think today <sighs> – there's some things, obviously, he could do better. But, honestly, you take away that one goal, like, what did they do? They didn't really do much the entire game. Like, don't you think that's a ta – isn't that, like, the tactic that – but you kind of – in my opinion, you know that's what LFC is going to do. That's what they did exactly against Vancouver in Vancouver. Yeah. You know that they, when Buanga has that one chance or Vela's going to have that one yeah. chance, they were just going to take it and play defense because that's what they did against Vancouver. That's yeah. what they've done in the back half of the season. Yeah, I mean, I told, I mean, I, I agree. I agree with that. But um, I just think, I don't know. It's just tough. I just think they, we got unlucky with that one chance. And, um, they didn't really – we negated them pretty much the whole time. But Wonga, um, obviously a player like that, you know, they get one chance and they can change the whole game. But – and those are kind of players we just don't have in this team. A player like Buanga, and I, and I, and I, when previewing this game, knew that that was going to be the difference. The star power, and just Seattle just doesn't have that. I mean, yeah. going forward, I mean, the season's over. Talking a little bit about next season, because at this point, there's no reason to keep lingering on about this, because we already spoke about it. Mm. What are big things you want from us going forward that you saw from this season, last season, and you're like, okay, this, these things need to change. I think, I think the core of our team. With, like, JP, I think Rusnak's done enough to where the second half of the season, you know, the first half I wasn't sure about him, but, you know, he when given that advanced. When yes. given that yep. cam roll, that free yep. cam roll, he got yep. to be able to be himself. So I think he's done enough to stay. I think Ladero, obviously, we know he's gone. Um, Rui Diaz, I, he's got another year, I think, doesn't yeah. he? He yeah. has one year, so, but there's but, a lot of speculation that he might be gone, might not be might. here. We don't know. Well, ideally, we want to move off of him right now. If we can't, we'll move off of him the next year. But there are contracts. I think Ariaga's due at the end of the year and Haber. A uh, lot of contracts, yeah. yeah. So there's plenty of opportunity to re reload this squad. And I think we have a good core of players. And I think we're getting another DP spot, right? That's rumored that that's going to likely happen, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, we have – all the it's there for the taking to to reload the squad i don't think we have to go through a rebuild and suck i think it's right there for us to just sign some players if around we, the core that we have already. if we approach it correctly and attack the opportunity yep. well this time yep agreed what would be your message to brian going into what would your message be to brian if, if he were to watch this right now what would your message be to him that now the season's closed off you go into next season, what do you want from him? I believe that might be the final year on his, his deal, so it might be his final season as a coach here, maybe. Um, what is your message? What do you want from him going into next year? Because it seems like in MLS-wise, 
we just haven't been that same team. Yeah. Um, if Brian, if you're if you're seeing this, um, I think, you know, I've given you a lot of uh, a lot of the benefit of the doubt just because I don't think, you know, the last couple of years our squad has been the strongest. So, if we can retool correctly and get the players that are good, some new DP signings, and we still can't succeed, then. You know, this, I think it's time's up, unfortunately. All right, Jack, what was your thoughts on tonight's match? Stinker. Just. Stinky. <laughs> just so, so awful. Um, I did I did another one of these, like, not, what, how long ago was that? It was Maybe a couple like weeks a, ago. Yeah, month like ago. a month, yeah. Yeah, what, I remember exactly what I said from what I was hoping for from a playoff game. Um, obviously, we we won our first round. But that was kind of ex it was Dallas. Like, I, it's just that that's not as that's not a statement win. Yeah. You know, that's a win that we should. Those are two wins that we should have, right? Like, we should beat that team twice. Um, this is a statement game, right? This is the team where it's time for us to put up or shut up. And what I said was, I wanted to see, I wanted to see. A spark. I wanted to see some explosiveness. I wanted to see some some passion, some fire, just to, just some motion, something going on, because we've just been so lethargic, so slow, so just like laid back when we're playing that we just we can't create anything. It's it's just like meaningless. I mean, that's been like the theme of the meaningless season. Football. <laughs> meaningless possession. A yeah. lot of this season, yeah. we've seen it a lot where we just have meaningless possession. Once we're losing the game, yeah. we just start throwing on. All the big names that we have on the bench, whoever it may be, Eber, Montero, Ladero, Rui Diaz, whoever it may be. Yeah. It's just been kind of the theme of the season. We've gone away with yeah. it in certain games, but like when the big games have mattered, we've lost. I mean, I mean, the refereeing wasn't great tonight. It's That's not, but it's, sure. not, it's also not just that we lost. I mean, like by all intents and purposes, we should have won this game. If you look at we the could stats, have. Yeah. we absolutely could have. We had plenty of shots on target. I mean, credit to Maxime Cripo, like he made some good saves. But like, at but the same time, at the like, same time, like that can't be our offense. Like we, shots from the eighteen. We, 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 were not... we, would, we spent more time. I, I mean, we had at least like ten for every, like for every one shot on target. I, we must have had like ten to twenty passes around the top of the eighteen, just in a straight line back and forth, and then we drop it all the way back to midfield. What kind? How do we? How do we win soccer games? How do we win soccer games playing like that? How do we win MLS cups playing like that? There's no, I mean, there's no, you can't, that's, that's not even like, I, I just, I don't, I just don't have words. I don't have words for this anymore. I'm just so like, I'm so sick of seeing the same thing week in, week out, passionless football, just absolute stinkers, just nothing, no, no movement, no explosiveness, barely any offense. It just, it pisses me off so, so bad. And I just, I don't know. You know, thinking, I mean, obviously the season's over. Like, where do we go from here? Genuinely, where do we go from here? Reed Diaz isn't, isn't reliable anymore. Ladero, literally. He's I mean, gone. Literally, I mean, like, I, the amount of just bad balls, bad passes, bad movement from him. It's just like, there's, it's useless to put him on the field. He is a waste of a space on the field, genuinely. I mean, sometimes, like, like he'll, if he's given the opportunity to create where it's like literally handed to him, he can do something, but that's not how we, that's not, we can't play soccer like that. We have to create for ourselves, right? We can't take what the other team is giving us. We have to, we have to score goals. We have to, we have to play offense. Um, Rui Diaz, useless. Ladero, useless. I mean, Joao Paulo, like Dude, the king <laughs> masterclass today, genuinely, like this is, that's exactly what you can ask from a number six. Like that's that he, he did everything he was supposed to, but like outside of that, you well, know, there's a, 10 I'm, other players there's, on the field. There's, there's there, yeah. 10 other players on the field. Leo Chu. Dude, terrible I'm, in the playoffs. I'm the biggest Leo Chu supporter. I, it, there's, I just don't have words. There's no excuses. There's no excuses for how we played today. In, in a single elimination game. You thought this was our Arguably. bread and butter, you think? Single elimination, I thought was our bread and butter. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be. I mean, we're supposed to be like the any given Saturday team, right? We're supposed to be the team that can beat anybody. We're supposed to be, be the team that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any team in MLS. We're supposed to be the team that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any team. We're supposed to be the team where, yeah, we might have had a stinky season against yeah. LAFC in the regular season, but we can still clap them in the playoffs, and, but we're not. And, and nothing. Absolutely nothing. And, and I just like... I mean, seriously, what, 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 what do we do to fix this issue? 
What do we do when there's no passion in our game? Evan, the Seattle Sounders, they lose tonight. Thoughts on tonight's match? Kind of just, I think it's a lot like watching the U.S. men's national team, I think. Just no creativity, just spamming crosses. Nothing. Meaningless possession. Meaningless possession, yeah, for, yeah. It's just same old, same old. I think they need to go out and get someone in the offseason. Fairly a nine. Doesn't have to be a big name, but just go to like a top five league in Europe. Like just pick someone out of there. And you can find someone who will come here and score goals for us. I think it seems like you're not a guy that rates Raul Morris as the number nine for us. No, it, none of them are actually true nines. Like if we're being for like Rui Diaz, yes, he's a striker, but is he? He's not the guy he's, anymore. He's kind of like a. He's more. Yeah, he's not the guy anymore. And um, Morris, two ACL tears. It's not really like. It's not really a. On a star player anymore, like he was, but. I think they go out, buy someone, bring someone in, and MLS making it four DPS now, so we can get someone. We can get it's because Lodero's leaving. Raul we, might go. Yeah, he's it could be a go. whole different squad. We could have a couple stars coming on the off season if the boys are willing to do that. But who knows if they're willing to do that? I mean, does tonight's blame the players, Schmetzer? I mean, same lineup after four games. Did you yeah. agree with that? Did you disagree with that? I mean, it was working, so I mean, I don't hate him doing that, but I think he should have switched it up because I think LAFC... It's a different they, they, animal to Dallas. Yeah, Dallas is just like, is it, like, Jesus Ferrer is a DP at Dallas. Like, it's, <laughs> like, it's, so I think it's just like, yeah, I think we should have probably prepared better for this new lineup. Um, uh, Rui Diaz, I think, should have had to start tonight, honestly. Okay, over Morris. Would you have started Morris, like, on the wing with Raul at striker? Yes, I would have done that, yeah. I think Morris brings more on the wing than he does. His Morris's hold-up play is kind of iffy. Uh, that chance, the first five minutes, that you, just, you knew that was going to be the opportunity. Have, it doesn't use like, his left foot. Kripo had an amazing game, like, the game of his life, like, honestly. Um, and I just think... He had to put that away. Like, there's no excuses. Um, I think Rui Diaz probably would have put that away. I think most of our players would have put that away. Like, it would be for real. So, I think, yeah, it's just. I mean, it just comes down to chances. I mean, that's kind of been just the theme of the season. Yeah. Meaningless possession, chances wasted. I think this was kind of the pinnacle where we weren't able to do that. I mean, what's your thoughts on Brian? I mean, that was it. I mean, next year it's going to be a big year. I mean, a lot of people have a lot of question marks when it comes in. What's your point of view with him? I think... If we get to this point next year, in the play, we get to the playoffs, still playing the same way. I think it's time to go. Honestly, I think he's had his time here, and he's done amazing things, obviously, for this club. But I think things are getting a little stale. Yeah, like Arsene Wenger, kind of like that. Like, like <laughs> great like, manager, but you know, that, I mean, like it's like the Batman quote. You know, yeah. you you die being a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become yeah. the villain. Maybe that could be happening with him. I think it could be happening. Like, I honestly kind of wanted him to go after last season, if I'm being 100 percent honest. But they gave him another chance. Came out, he had he, he was good this year. There was, I mean, yeah, he had good moments, bad yeah. moments. I mean, sadly, we didn't do. I think just a mid year. I mean. The biggest issue with me is, is you know, losing. We lost in almost every single cup we played in. Club World Cup, granted, there's no expectation, but first rounded there. Open Cup, second rounded. Weren't even close to the Supporter Shield. I mean, second rounded in the playoffs. I mean, there's yeah. kind of like, those are worrying signs to just, you know, always be getting bounced out every yeah. time. Especially from a team that finished second in the conference. You should make it all the way. I mean, St. Louis got bounced too. So, I mean, it's just, it shows that we can have a really good regular season, but once it comes to playoffs, it's just... Hayden, we lose tonight. Season's over. What was your thoughts on tonight's match? There was no surprises in tonight's match, is what I saw. I mean, just kind of the same theme of all season. Yeah, nothing, nothing too surprising from Brian. He decided to put out the same lineup. I don't know why Chu came out of the locker room after the first half. I don't know why he wasn't immediately subbed and bring on Ladero. Ladero brought in a little bit of fight. Raul... Didn't make any impact on the game, and uh, we missed a big chance to take the lead ahead early. But I mean, what, what frustrates you about tonight's match? Uh, just repetitiveness, I guess. We just we we try the same thing over and over again, and it doesn't always work. And clearly, LAFC gave us a tough time this season. We couldn't beat them this season, so. 
Yeah, I mean, th- I mean, we couldn't we couldn't even score a goal against them all season, which was so disappointing to see. And you would think we would learn from those mistakes. I mean, for Brian, I mean, you've been someone that's always been ne- kind of fairly negative about him. I mean, you're not he's not on the top of your list. I, I mean, at, at this point, like Brian is Brian's Brian. Clearly, the team likes him. That's not going to change. He's going to retire when he wants to retire. We got him again. I'm surprised we're getting Fry for another year. Our team's aging, all of them. Got to make a, a big signing. Like, age doesn't really matter. We're probably not going to have Raul next year. For sure not having Ladero. So let's go get someone big. We need to make a big signing because every other team is making an impact signing. We got to make an impact signing. I think, you know, when it comes to the team, it's just been up and down in MLS for a while now. I mean, we need to make changes. I mean, what would be your biggest message to Brian, to the Sounders? What would you have to say to them going into next season? Because I know you're someone that's been very frustrated with this team. I mean, if we're looking at the, the bright side of things, we made playoffs this year. We we we, di- ca- we did the ba- I think we did the bare minimum. The expectations coming this year, I was not expecting to even make playoffs. So so good good on the team for rallying together, finishing second from the top of the table is pretty impressive from pretty lackluster season. Not a huge amount of like highlights, I'd say. We we got things done, tied a lot. Defense keeps us in a lot of games. So good on them, but. We got to score goals if we want to win games.